Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today for our lesson, we're going to talk about multiplication and specifically with multiplying with multiples of 10. Well, what does that mean? Well, friends, it just means that we're going to be multiplying with some larger numbers and we're going to be multiplying by 10 each time we multiply. So our learning goal for today says, I can multiply by multiples of 10 using the place value chart. So let's jump in and get started. So here we have some place value disks. We have a one place value disk and a 10 place value disk. These are the two place value disks that we're gonna focus on today in our lesson. So if you have those, you can go ahead and use those as you're participating. If not, we're actually gonna learn another strategy where you're actually going to be able to draw um, these place value disks or use the place value chart to be able to help you solve these problems. So you're going to use your place value just to show two rows of three ones. Now, also, if you don't have your place value just, you can just draw a picture. Okay, so if you're drawing the ones, just draw a circle with a one in, and that's a ones place value disk. If you need to draw tens, you're just going to draw a circle with a ten in it, and that's your tens place value disk. Okay, so three rows of one. So there's one row, I'm sorry, two rows of three of is what we're doing. So there's my first row with three ones, and here's my second row with three ones. Write an equation of three, two times three equals blank ones. So how many ones are in two times three? Six. 2 times 3 is 6, so there's 6 1s in 2 times 3. Now we're going to use our place value disk to show two rows of three tens. So this time, instead of having a 1 in each one of our place value disks or a 1 for our place value disks, we're going to use 10 um, place value disks. So there's my first row of three tens. And here's my second row of three tens. So the equation two times three tens equals how many tens? Six. So the value of six tens is 60. I know you guys already know that because you're pros. So we're gonna say this equation in standard form and that would be two times 30 equals 60 because three tens is really just 30. Okay, so use your place value disk to show three rows of four ones. Okay, so there's my three rows of four ones. So here's my first row with four ones, my second row with four ones, and my third row with four ones. Does yours look like mine? All right, great job. If it doesn't, go ahead and pause the video and make yours look just like mine before we continue. Okay, so the equation is three times four ones equals how many ones, friends? 12 ones, great job. Okay, so now use your place value just to show three rows of four tens. So go ahead and pause the video and do that with your place value disks. Again, if you don't have place value disks, just go ahead and draw the circles. But this time we're doing tens, so make sure you put a 10 inside each one. Okay, so here's what I came up with. So here's my first row of four tens, my second row of four tens, and my third row of four tens. So the equation is three times four tens equals blank tens. So how many tens? 12 tens, great job friends. So 12 tens equals 120. We're gonna say that equation in standard form, which is three times 40 equals 120. My three, you can see I have three rows. 40 is because there's four tens in each row, which is 40. And then the total is 120. Okay, so we're gonna look at how we can do this on a place value chart now. So I have my tens and I have my ones. So here is 
two rows of five ones. Okay, you can also write that as two times five equals 10. So two times five equals 10 is the same as two times five ones. So we have 10 ones total. Now let's look at this one. So now I have in this place value chart, I have two rows of five tens. What do you notice about the dots in both of my top drawing and my bottom drawing? Yeah, they both have the same number of discs, right? What is the difference between those two examples? Yeah, the top example is ones and the bottom example is tens. So they look exactly the same. But also notice too, friends, how in my top example, my ones are actually in the ones place on my place value chart. And the tens are actually in the tens place on my place value chart. So you could, if you wanted to, instead of having to write the number one in each place value disk or a 10 in each place value disk, as long as you're using it in the correct place on the place value chart, you can just draw a circle. So if you wanted to be drawing ones, your example was two times five ones, as long as you drew your array of two times five um, with two rows and five in each row in the ones place, that would represent two times five ones. Down here in the bottom, you're doing two times five tens. And as long as you drew that in the tens place, you would be modeling two times five tens. Okay, so what equations match the array and the bottom? There's actually two that we can use. So go ahead and pause the video, write it on your whiteboard, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends. So if I look at this, the two equations that match my array that I came up with are two times 50 and two times five tens. The first one of two, or sorry, the second one of two times five tens, that was really easy for me to be able to see in this problem because I see that there's one row, two rows, and then there's one, two, three, four, five tens in each row row. Then once I know that one, I know that I can take five tens and turn it into 50 because that's the value of five tens. So both of those equations show the exact same thing, just in a different form. Okay, so two times 50 is 100 and two times five tens is what friends? it's also 100 because both of those equations are modeling the same thing. Okay, so what if I have some bigger numbers? So before we jump into this next part about bigger numbers, let's solve this problem with some smaller numbers and see how we can use the smaller numbers to help us solve one that has bigger numbers. So a times six. So there's my place value chart. And then I have my um, six rows with eight in each row. I wanted to flip flop these. And remember, you can do that when you're multiplying as long as you're flip flopping the order um, of the factors that's called the commutative property, nickname flip flop property. So if we have eight times six, we know that that's 48 because we can think of that as six groups of eight. So we can use eight times six to help us solve 80 times 6. So here's what this would look like in my place value chart. I would take all of those ones that I did, I'm going to slide them over and make them 10s. And it's going to be the same array, it's just going to look um, a little bit different because we're moving them into the 10s place now. Now remember, in my example I have a 10 in each one of those circles, but you don't have to do all that extra work. You can just make sure that you put them in the 10s place and they'll represent 10s. So here we have six groups of 80. You can also write that as 80 times six equals 480. 
So friends, that's just the craziest thing ever that you're able to do that. Also notice that when we did six times eight, we were able to figure out that that was 48. So notice there's an extra zero here in 80. So all we have to do is take a cover up that zero, do six times eight, that gives us 48, and then go back and add our zero in. And look at that, friends. Check out that handy trick that you can use as well. Okay, so let's look at another example. So describe this array for me. We have three rows with six in each row. So that's three times six. So three times six ones equals 18 ones, which is also the same as just three times six equals 18. So how many ones do I have total? Yeah, 18. Let's look at this example. So now I'm gonna slide over to the tens place. I have three rows of six in each row. So what do we notice about those blue dots this time from the blue to the orange example on the top? Yeah, we've shifted them over into the tens place. So now they represent tens, but the array is the same in the top example and the bottom example. So I want you to tell me what are the arrays that you, or the equation that matches this array? If you said three times 60 equals 180, you got it friends, because here's my three rows, one, two, three, and there are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 in each row. You could also write this as three times six tens. That would also have the same product. All right, so two thumbs up to you guys. Great job for multiplying with multiples of 10. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.